So I want to talk to you about us being like the vine, grape vines, like a vineyard. So y'all, a lot of people know about the story about Jesus when he turned water into wine in the, in the marriage in Canaan. Well, you know, at, there's a very key part there. Uh, when the mother of Jesus came up to him and asked him and told him that there was no more wine, he said, woman, what do I have to do with thee? It is not my time yet. Because it is the groom's responsibility for the wine of the wedding. <clears throat> when he makes a covenant with the bride's family and the bride, he then goes off for a period of time and he goes and prepares the vineyard. He plants the vineyard, he grows it <clears throat> in a time of harvest. After pruning it and everything else, then he gathers the grapes, he puts it in a barrel, 40 days in a cave, and then that produces wine. And he's, in, he's the one that's responsible for producing the wine for the marriage. So now, God has laid in my heart the scripture about Jesus is the vine. And God is the pruner. He's the husbandman. And we are the branches that are to produce fruit. Well, the fruit that we're supposed to be producing is the grape. See, Jesus is the vine and without him, we can't exist. So imagine this tree behind us, all those branches that are coming off. That's us as Christians. And we're supposed to produce fruit. And God is pruning us as the husbandman. So he prunes us, getting, making us better and better so we can produce more fruit and be more fruitful so that when Jesus, and it's his time for his marriage supper, can gather us, the grapes, for the wedding and then put us through the wine press. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a scripture in the book of Revelations that you might not like to see, but that is what God has laid in my heart. Now, there's also a scripture about when Jesus healed the blind man, he put, he got dirt, spit in his hands, got some dirt, touched the, uh, the blind man's eyes. The guy opened his eye, Jesus says, what do you see? Do you see, any, do you see anything? And the guy looked up and he said, I see men as trees walking. Then Jesus touched him again his eyes and it says that the man the blind man saw men clearly you see God revealed that when he looked the first time he saw men in the spiritual realm as trees walking touched them the second time and he opened his physical eyes and he saw clearly the man